Hey, what's going on? This is Jerry Feta, owner, founder, and CEO of Wealth Dynamics, giving you a quick live video today. It's been a little bit on my Facebook Live. I'm coming back with these more frequently. And I want to talk to you about the relationship between wealth and income. Okay, I was on a podcast last week and I was asked by the interviewer, a very high profile guy in the financial industry, and he said, Hey, what are the best passive income streams for people to get involved in? Right? And I had to tell them, I had to be upfront with them. And I was like, hey, I don't think most people should get involved in passive income streams right now, okay? When I get involved in passive income streams, it's by nature of me having capital to invest, right? I invested money, I had money saved and accumulated, it was in my sacred accounts. I took that out, I put that into a deal, that deal pays me passive income, right? Now, to get there, I've gotta have active income. Right, and so this is so critical. In order to build wealth, my income must always be increasing. So I cannot build wealth on a fixed income. I can't build wealth if I'm in retirement. I can't build wealth if I'm living on government subsidies. I can't build wealth if I'm trying to reduce my income so I can qualify for student loan forgiveness. These are all traps. They're things that prevent me from building wealth. So how do I build wealth? I've gotta earn lots of income first, right? So how do I go about that, right? So the first thing is, is you're gonna do more of what you already do. If you're watching this and you're like, hey, how do I earn more income? How do you earn more income right now? Right, like what's the thing you do now? Do you have a a job where you work hourly? Go work more hours, right? Like there's this this thing about like, I wanna earn more income, I wanna be financially free, but I don't wanna put in more work and more time. Doesn't exist, right? Like go work 60 hours for a couple of years and your finances, I promise you, will turn around and you've gotta get rid of this idea of life balance. I'm not gonna have life balance until I'm financially independent. When I'm in financial prison, balance doesn't exist. That's not a thing, right? Like I, I use this example of this movie I love, it's called Shawshank Redemption, right? Like people don't realize they are in financial prison. The fact that I have to pay my bills every single month and that forces me to go trade my time for money and it's an obligation, that is a form of imprisonment, right? The fact that, that for me, when I was 21 years old, my mom was sick of stage, one, or stage four cancer and I had to work Christmas Eve delivering pizza. She died on December 28th. I was delivering pizza. I missed Christmas with her because I couldn't get time off without losing my job. That's financial imprisonment, right? So we have to quit looking at it like, oh, it's normal, it's okay and making sense of it. Right? How do you make sense of something like that? You can. So the thing you've got to look at is, okay, I want to build financial freedom. I want to build financial independence. Financial independence being defined as passive income that exceeds my savings, expenses, and taxes. Right? And in order to do that, I've got to earn, I've got to save, and I've got to invest. Right? And in order to earn more, initially it just means doing more of what I already do. Taking that money and saving that. Part of what the sacred account actually does is it's got all these, these great benefits. You know, It's tax-free. I can borrow against it. But for me, when I first started my very first sacred account, what that really did for me was it forced me to go increase my income because I now had a new monthly commitment that I had to keep up with, right? Like I had a monthly next month, my premium's coming out, my contribution to my sacred account, it's automated, it's forced, I better go earn the income. It's no different than my bills went up, right? So I've got to earn the income. I've got to do all of this to make sure that I can you know, fund my account next month and that gives me income demand and then I grow my top line, I grow my income, right? Now, once I've done that, what do I do next? I invest, okay? When I'm new at this and I'm starting to just, you know, how do I grow my income? I don't need to be learning about real estate. I don't need to be learning about, you know, gold leasing. I don't need to be learning about private lending. I need to invest in myself, right? I earn income by investing in my skill sets. So for me, I've spent uh, probably well over two, three hundred thousand dollars, you know, in my lifetime, probably more than that, maybe closer to half a million on just growing myself, learning sales, learning marketing, removing my mental blocks, becoming more able as a being. Right. So I'm earning, I'm putting my money in my sacred accounts, which creates income demand. I'm taking that money that I've saved. I'm investing it back in myself. That's also then giving me the ability to grow my income. And then it kind of reinforces itself, right? And then I can take it and do it again and it should expand. My income goes up. I can save more again. I can invest even more. And I keep doing that until I'm able to save 40% of my income. And at the point that I can save 40% of my income, I'm officially in the top 1% of savers, okay? So this is all I've got for you today. I do need to sign out. Um, If you're watching this, I'm gonna be teaching a course on this Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, Saturday at 1 1 p.m. Eastern time. The link is gonna be down here in the comments. Okay, I'm going to drop this here. It's going to be registration for Sacred Account Saturday. 
right? And if you go to course.wealthdynamics.com, you can register for this. And I'm going to be teaching you how to use the sacred account to increase your active income so that you can get into the top 1% of wealth with saving, right? You're going to get into the saving category first. You're not going to get into the income category first. You need to be making half a million a year or more, right? So we'll get there, but you can save 40% of your income and that automatically puts you in the top 1% of savers, right? So guys, if you're watching this, make sure you get into that category. Register for my course on Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Again, that's course.wealthdynamics.com. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.